Hello world. Hi, how are you? I am doing well as per my usual intro. This is Heather Alexandra for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. Oh, hey, look at that. Whoa, what the? I didn't introduce you yet. Oh, oops. Oh, I'm joined in the booth by... Paul Tamayo. Paul Tamayo, my boy. What's up, everybody? Hey, all right. So today's a bit of a low-key day and there aren't as many like sick new releases even for indie games so i thought everybody's talking about red dead redemption right right and very justifiably i think excited for a detailed open world game full of gorgeous guns and horse testicles and whatever <laughs> and but that got me thinking well well one of the perfect or maybe the perfect video game western already exists and that is Call of War as Gunslinger. Ooh, hot take. Which I love this game. I love this game. It's super smart. It's super fun. The the shooting is fun, but also the setup's really cool. So Call of War as, it's a series by Techland. Uh, some of the titles, not as great. The first one, interesting. Call of War is Bound in Blood, not as cool. Call of War is the Cartel, super racist and weird. Oh. But this, so good. Yeah, um, so I, yeah. I, we talked about it a little bit off air, but I, I've never played this game, so I'm excited to check this out. Yeah, so this is, um, I don't remember what year this came out in. Um, uh, almost, I gotta say, it's gonna be like four or five years ago. Okay, so it's not that old. So yeah, so this is gonna, so we're gonna meet our protagonist here. His name's Silas. Uh, yeah, Silas Greaves. Okay. And he wants free drinks. And he knows a couple of magical phrases that can make free booze a reality. Oh. Even in even in Abilene me, near the end of so. near the end of the Wild years. West. Um, among those Green. is the phrase Silas I used Green. to ride with Billy the Kid. Okay. Um, and a bunch of other shit. Name dropping. He's a he's a well known gunslinger. Last of a dying breed. <laughs> Red Neptonic in the chat's like, I was just playing this last night. Good fucking game. It's a good game. It's in the air. Everybody should just like pull it out every now and then. I, we're taking a bit of a risk here because it's like a little bit of an oddball game to be. We're not we're not gonna bring in the numbers of like, man, we're streaming Tomb Raider, streaming yeah. Assassin's Creed, which we I, we, I, we should be streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey later this week. Oh yeah. Um, all sorts of big stuff for you, but also, man, I just wanted to. Nice. Just want to chill with a, with a classic. It's what good. With Henry so, a lot of stories about Silas Greaves. And he's going to tell you what, what really went down, Paul. Don't believe everything you read oh, it's so good. Novels. So the big frame device here is that he's going to be telling the stories. You knew Billy the Kid? And, Billy the kid? and, and his narration is going to change shit. And all sorts of stuff. It's this is a super smart game. I like that. I like when the the writing is strong enough to actually like right. do weird shit like that. And furthermore, the 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 gunplay is really cool. Uh, the normal Call of War's games have sort of gun degradation mechanics and a bunch of stuff, which is cool. But this game goes way more arcadey and is just like dual revolvers and all sorts of shit. Um, no no degrading weapons or anything. Okay. And instead, he's just like, I'm going to tell you a story about when I was riding with Billy the Kid. <laughs> um, this is this is genuinely probably one of the most fun shooters I've ever played. Nice. And I want to share it with the world. What did you originally play it on? Um, so this had come out on consoles like the 360 and the PlayStation 3. This was actually a PlayStation Plus game. Um, oh, right. For the PS3, which I think is one of the best games that they'd ever done. For PS Plus? For PS Plus. Uh, I think around the same time they also did Yakuza 4. So oh, it was, damn. It was a very good PS Plus time. That was a good month. Um, this, good was, this was a little bit, but maybe it was a little bit before um, the PS4. I don't remember. Um, so it's low key for now, but shit's going to go down. I also just like. It's a much, it's, it kind of has that hard, um, slight cell shading to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really cool. Got some, like, border, borderlands right. vibes. Um, That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. And it kind of splits a difference between, um, no choice. like, borderlandsy type presentation and then also just, like, a, a classic rustic thing. Um, so these guys are going to... Um, nice. You gain experience and a bunch of stuff, so that wasn't good shooting. One thing I learned, which was fantastic, 
I learned this from Unforgiven. Is that sometimes in a gunfight you just gotta stay still and shoot and not like jump jump around? That's what uh, Willie Money, William Money, taught me uh, from that movie. Uh, Killer of women and children. Jeez, he's not good. So you also get this, which is a wonder, a wonderful slow mo. Or um, and you also you also get some other shit later on that's just as cool. Um, Man, and this thing, this gun rules. Yeah, this is a very uh, cartoony, just like really satisfying sort of arcadey experience, which I just really like. Um, and I don't have as much to say besides just, man, man it's a fucking good game. It's fun. Um, and you're going to see all sorts of like fun, cool shit happen too. And if I want to, I can just... Oh, man. I don't know why I would do that when I can get all the fancy bonus points and everything for doing a bunch of other stuff. But, you know. And then anytime I want to, I can. I love how like they turn so into that good. like red. red yeah, the red presentation shape. of this game is just real nice, top notch. Um, door, man, Bound of Blood together. tried to be a little bit like an action Seven movie, minutes. and then the cartel was just too gritty and too stupid of a game. And it was like modern day, you said, right? Yeah, that was uh, that was like modern day, like ah, oh, the cartels are coming over the, uh, they're coming over the border coming and, over and the like border. kidnapping people and a bunch of shit. It was like, shit. just like really gross. Um, the upgrade where you slam there bullets into the gun is something every game should have. Yeah, there's a ton of shit. So eventually you're going to be able to do sharpshooter and stuff. We'll just do dual wielding. This is two revolvers, which is, nice. of course, what you want. Can I... I forget how to switch weapons in this game. We'll get there. Um, it's just a super stylish game. Whoa. And then what? when somebody's going to kill you, dodge that bullet. You just sidestep it. You don't always get a chance to do that. It's based upon how much of um, of your meter you have and stuff like that, um, which is just really interesting. And then eventually we're going to get to another really cool thing uh, going on. We don't have another Call of War as a uh, game. Uh, I think that's what somebody's talking about in chat because Techland went on to make um, Dying Light. Uh, and now they're working on Dying Light 2, which Dying Light is also a pretty interesting game, if a little rough around the edges. Um, look at the the cans get shot and everything, too. I love too. that. Like, the oh, pumpkins exploding. So good. Um, how do I... Second game this year that I've, I've been in a pumpkin field. Uh, Far Cry 5 being the other one. I don't remember how I'm going to pick up... Uh, the new, the two guns. When Techland is um, good, they are good. Oh, okay. Oh, you got there it. it oh, there you go. I Woo. always, I always forget the controls. Um, when Techland is bad, they're very bad. When <laughs> Techland is good, they're very good. A right. uh, little bit of everything, and then. Oh yeah, so good. That's good. Um, this game's dope. <laughs> uh, it's so cool, um, and I love sometimes just sitting back and being like, "Hey, I have a stream, and uh, we're at a, a, a very uh, particularly popular video game website, uh, despite what the haters say." And I'm like, "I'm just gonna play, especially today." Um, Let's just chill with a good game. Where I've just I've been up this whole weekend playing uh, a ACL. ton of uh, 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 Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You and me both. Which we will talk about later this week. Yep. And I have a review coming out uh, later next week. Yeah, and we'll be doing a bunch of videos for it, so stay tuned. It's going to be good. good. Good game is all I'll say. Good uh, game. It's probably all I can say. Yeah. Um, but For man, now, we're man, just man, chilling I, with a good game. I woke up so tired this morning, and I was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna, oh man, I'm just going to play a favorite. A super good game. Yeah, so this is a game that you, that you go back to every once in a while where you're like, man. Yeah, when I'm just like, this is a really interesting... But I'd love to write about it and kind of what it's doing. Oh, yeah. Um, but I don't know. Billy the Kid. This is where you get some of that Borderlands flair. Crack shot. Boom, boom, boom. And then, of course, uh, throughout the game, you can find, like, little trinkets that actually tell you the real history. Oh, that's cool. Which is like, here's what actually happened. Because Billy the Kid, I I wrote about him in grade school. Um, really? When we were, they were like, hey, just write about a historical figure. And I was like, I'm going to write about, like, something really out there. And that meant Billy the Kid, and, like, he doesn't quite die like a punk, but he does die in the dark with, like, a sheriff sneaking in, and nobody knows what's going on. Sheriff Pat Garrett? 
Wow, you're like a historian. You're I do. Billy the Kid historian. Uh, uh, his name was Pat Garrett. He wrote a book about it later on, and basically Billy was in a, 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 a hideout with his buddy, and it was super dark, and uh, Garrett just snuck in, and like I think the last thing Billy the Kid said was like, Huh? And it was like, who is that? Um, like, oh, okay. que esta or whatever. I don't, oh. know, I don't know Spanish that well. Um, Quien es? Just like, yeah, right. So he was like, who is that? Like, who's there? Um, and uh, like, he just he just got killed. And then Pat Garrett was like, I'm the guy who killed Billy the Kid. Um, Man. Because back in those days, like, if you just did like that one thing, like, you, became, hot, you, were hot. you just became super legit. That's when Charlie got hit. Boom. Oh, catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. And I like how much this is. Ooh, yeah. This is um, Silas giving the narration of like. Oh man, what am I? Whoa. I'm getting hit. Who's hitting me? Uh, Silas doing the narration. Like you don't hear Billy talk as much. It's like Silas saying what Billy said, which is just kind of cool. Man, this game's oozing with style. Yeah, I love it. It's super good. Um, Really good skill trees in this game. Somebody says that's true too. Uh, whatever you want to kind of specialize in, uh, rifles or whatever, like you have, you get a lot of fun uh, skills. That's awesome. There's going to be later moments in this game where we do like real hardcore dead eye stuff, which is just really cool. I like if you run out of bullets in one gun too, you just fire the other one. Boom, boom, boom. That's awesome. Um, so you're controlling those individually? No. So this is actually one trigger going one back trigger, and forth. Got it. Sometimes it'll let you do those uh, moments too. Of just like, oh, someone's coming in, and just like hit a hit one button, take them out. I, I, I love Silas's narration. That's cool. And like, how much after a while it becomes very clear, like this dude's full of shit. <laughs> Ready? So we're gonna do this. Oh, nice. Chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. Eventually, there's even cooler shit where it's just like. You are just diving off of stuff. <laughs> it just goes all over the place. It's like it's like Max Payne if Max was also full of like even more bullshit. That sounds like a good time. Because Max is usually just like, oh, something's going on or whatever. Um, Silas here is just is just like, oh, then like uh, I, I jumped out and did all this cool shit. And, he, and everybody's like, did you? And they're like, did you really do that? And he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> they're like, that's not how I heard about it. Oh. A little bit of an underwhelming me melee considering everything else is good. Look, Oh, ready? there you go. Oh, my God. That's all, like, locking on by itself and just boom, boom, That's boom. That's some John Woo. So good. So many games are, like... And listen, I like playing, uh, like, Call of Duty campaigns and stuff. I actually legitimately do. Um, yeah. I, I really liked playing through Infinite Warfare and a bunch of other things, but just... Having a game where somebody's like, and then I was the most badass person in the world is <laughs> yeah. like really cool because instead of a game just being like, oh, you're the most special soldier, yeah. like here's all these cool guns, Silas is just like, and then I fucking did all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like so good. Yeah. It's like so good to have a game that doesn't try and do like the stupid, like, because there's still a power fantasy element here of like, man, I get to do all this cool stuff. But it's also covered with this veneer yeah, of just yeah. like, man, you're full of shit. Yeah, you lie. Whereas like a normal game would be like, yeah, of course you did that. Because like, man, this is Crisis and you have a nanotech suit or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and you're, you're just super like, See, special. See, Pat Garrett, there he is. Oh, oh yeah, right? that's him. Oh, so, so he's like, I met Pat Garrett. And Dwight's like, yeah, you got into a gunfight with him. So we're going to have a gunfight. Oh, shh. Um, like a duel? Yes. So there's also duels in this, um, which is really, really cool. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. I, I, but I, I'm so used to playing it on controller that, like, sometimes you just play games on controller enough that you just feel really comfortable with it. Yeah, you just want to chill. Yeah. And so we're gonna get to our first uh, quick draw duel, which is just really cool. Um, they kind of gamify it a lot here, but I don't know. Yeah, Dwight's like, oh, I read that you uh, you face down Pat Garrett, <laughs> and Silas is like, yeah. Sure. And then we get this, which is just. So they're gonna run us through it to show you how it works. 
Just gotta let that focus go down. And then eventually they're gonna be like, also move your hand closer to the gun. There are some ones later on, again, I'm gonna spoil just a bunch of this game for the heck of it. Yeah, There's one later on where they're like, oh yeah, and like you faced off gets like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And you go, so it's you versus two of them and you're going back and forth between them, like trying to focus and like oh, get ready. Oh, that's kind of cool. So good. It's just so freaking great. Um, and then you can... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was all excited. Um, <coughs> how do I? Look at these chickens just minding yeah. their own business. Oh man, I was uh, I was distracted for a second there. Silas is just like, yeah. Uh, then I died. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a ghost. Um, what's the button for going down and sneaking your hand down again? Um. You just, gotta him. you just gotta focus a ton. There we go. I just messed up a, a lot. It's kind of weird. So Silas is, so Dwight's like, then you killed him. And Silas is like, no, I just said I met him. <laughs> right, so you have this whole different um, moment where Dwight's like, and then you fucking got in a gunfight. And like, they all picture it. And then. <laughs> it's like, no, I didn't actually do that. And then Silas is like, nah, like we just talked. <laughs> I just so much. Just so good, right? That's great. And like, and like, so, Later on, there are moments where he's like, I gotta go take a piss. And then the game, like, slows down while he's away, and you hear everybody else like, man, like, what's up with this guy? Like, is he? I think he's playing us. Like, this is, he ain't never gonna man. Right? He comes back and like, hey, what's up, then he, everybody? Then he comes back and he's like, yeah, where was I? I was on the train. I was, uh, everybody was gunning at me. It's so good. That's awesome. You can also fire before um, they actually start drawing their gun, but it's not honorable. Oh. Um, which is not good. Uh, longer combos? Yeah. Hit me with that stuff. Seems like... Oh, they were like, hey, you're good at this game. Do you want to <laughs> Do you want to bump it up to hard? And it's like, no, nah, not right now. No, you Whenever you're streaming, um, unless you're streaming so all the time, play on normal. Yeah. yeah. After I came to, bastard had clocked me with his coat. He's like, yeah, I just walked in and knocked me on the head. We'll do. We'll get through stuff. And the kid surrendered when he realized there was no getting out of there alive. That's so stylish. Yeah, it's so, so cool. It's like really great. Lincoln? Like this is just top tier game. Since All I'm doing right now is gushing about a game I like, but I hope that enthusiasm uh, is something that you all appreciate. Yeah, you got some time till Red Dead drops, so you know. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm gonna play as Arthur Morgan. I like I like Red Dead Redemption a lot. I just I have no who's Arthur Morgan? I don't know. You're with the Dutch's gang. I was like, I don't know if I need to it's see Dutch again. I wrote this whole thing about how I kind of so I, I really like John Marston, but I don't know if I want to see John Marston again. Right, I remember that. Yeah. Where it's like I feel like his story is so firm and Kitty's complete. Gang. That even, and like some people were like, it's a prequel, really fuck you, because um, this is the internet. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, chill, hold and on. I was, and I was like, I was just saying it's weird to be able to go to a prequel now and just like sit by John by the fire. And like for some people that's cool, but for me it's like, man, what I want after a game where like that's such a big, like sort of really defining character moment in, in games for the last, you know, yeah. five years or, or even more now, however long it was, because I played that in college. Um, to just have a moment where you're like, oh, like, we're okay, we're done with this guy's story. Right, right. Um, and to kind of leave it behind. Um, I thought that would have been really powerful and interesting. But also, like, yeah, I'll talk to him. He'll be, he'll be like, my name's John Marston. I can't do his voice. <laughs> John Marston. I, I think a lot about uh, the Undead Nightmare DLC where they're like, you kill the Sasquatches. Oh, my God. Even though they're just like, oh, we eat fruits and berries. <laughs> and then John just goes, you eat babies. <laughs> like he's, because John is just like this stubborn dude. He's like, nah, you eat no. babies. You eat babies. He's like, the, the Sasquatch is like, we eat fruits and berries. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't hurt anyone. But John's like, Cause, no. Because this is like, because especially Undead Nightmare is just like this weird pastiche thing. That thing is, is so weird. I love that stupid yeah, DLC. Yeah, it's really good. It's a great DLC. But if, he's just like, in that John Marston way of just like, you eat babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite line reads in a game. Yeah. Um, if you've if you've only played the base game of Red Dead and you've never played oh, Undead yeah. Nightmare, Definitely you should just sit down that. and play Undead my Nightmare. It's a really real good DLC. So Man, that game was yeah. Yeah. So there's uh now we get shotguns. Um, Whoa! Oh, that guy scared me. Um, 
part of this makes me wonder if they're basing it off of... So, in real life, Billy the Kid did get arrested. And he, um... He escaped prison. And getting out of prison, he... As far as I understand it, he grabbed, like, a shotgun with a little bit of buckshot in it. And he shot one dude on a balcony, jumped off the balcony, shot another dude, and then got out of there. I think he got fucked up on the way. That was, he escaped, and then Garrett, Pat Garrett eventually... Uh, catches up to catches him. Catches up to him. Um, but I remember that being such an interesting story of just, like, oh, this guy, like, actually escaped prison. Like, look at that. He's talking about going from roof to roof, and so platforms appear, which is just really good. Like, oh, that wasn't there before. He's like, yeah, no, I was, I was scurrying from rooftop to rooftop. Um... So this kind of reminds me, it makes me think of, as far as I understand it, what's like the more real life story of kind of that escape with Billy the Kid, which is not as glamorous as I'm picturing it in my head. He like probably just shot a dude in the back, leapt over a balcony, almost broke his leg, and then like like shot another dude and was like, I'm going to get on this horse. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, this is a game about how the reality is interesting, but the legends and the myths are just as interesting. Pistols? No ammo. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way. Oh, past. I have my pistols. This town doesn't have a moment's pace. Get out of here. <laughs> the <laughs> have you uh, uh have you been bothered by chickens in you Assassin's Creed? I was just I was just about to say that but I'm like, let me not say anything. <laughs> we can't talk we can't, <laughs> can't talk, talk about, about the game it. much. But the, the game has chickens. Yeah, there's chickens in that game. <laughs> and they're just uh oh yeah, well, I don't want to use the shotgun right now. There are chickens in that game and uh if we've learned anything about video game chickens, is that they are uh, not to be trifled with. Oh, dude. Wow. Yeah, I love this I like game. this. Ooh. So they all think he's Billy the Kid. Red Neptonic says they learned a lot about the Old West from collectibles. Right. Game. So we before we started playing this game, we were talking about Red Dead 2. Um... We were talking about it with one of our uh, wonderful peers at Jalopnik and how everybody's kind of excited. And then also, like, I love Westerns, but at the same time, I'm also like, oh, Westerns are weird in retrospect? Yeah, some um, of them are problematic. Which is not to be like, I don't want to be the PC police no, here, because sure, everybody sure. everybody thinks I'm like, Little Miss Heather Alexandra, <laughs> who's like, oh, fucking SJW, bum, yeah, bum, yeah, bum, yeah. and here I am just shooting dudes in the head and loving it. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, you know. But also, like, I think I acknowledge that there's a, there's kind of a weird tension to to um, Westerns nowadays in the sense that Westerns were really um, a product of their times. Yeah, for um, sure. And even, like, when you get into, like, 1950s and like John Ford and the searchers and all that like you don't get westerns that really re-examine how kind of gritty and weird westerns are until a lot of the Sergio Leone stuff and then mm -hmm. you know then you get you know, a lot of the Clint Eastwood stuff too so I think there's just something weird about westerns in retrospect that's just like and then I went out and like I gunned down all the savages yeah, and you're just like savages. this is weird yeah, like, but also you're like I think I think everybody um uh, for better or worse, especially in America, has this sense of like, man, like what was it like when like things weren't established? The Wild West. Of just like, like what if, what was it like to just be out there and like how how gorgeous it, it is out there? I mean, like, it is, it's it's fascinating though. It is fascinating. Like you know, just from a uh, purely observational standpoint, like man, what a weird time that was. Yeah, you know? I think about it a lot. I don't yeah. have I don't have the good words for it. But, right, right. But I, I think about the Western genre a lot and how it's like, man, I like True Grit, but also I'm like, yeah. In retrospect, Rooster Cogburn is kind of a weird dude. What's the uh, 310 to Yuma? That's a. Uh, it was so weird that they tried that, and I still like that movie. I like that movie. It was very weird that they were just like. Oh, look at that. There we go. Nice. Like, why should I play his game at all? Um, right. Uh, somebody's saying in chat how it's all about, like, hey, like, there's a Wild West, and then we conquer it, and, like, we conquer it because we got guns and, like, all this shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's weird. 310 to Yuma. Um, I like how stylish Russell... Uh, Russell I like how stylish Russell Crowe is in that movie. Um, I, I like, like uh, I like him in that movie. What's the other guy? Ben. Maybe Chad can help me out. Um, ben something. He, yeah, the guy who played Archangel in. Uh, yeah, that dude. In the X Men movie. That dude was like his oh, coat. He's scary as hell. He's in that scary, movie. but his his coat in that in that movie was. Oh man, cool. I, I forget his name. Um, it's Ben something. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. so bad with names. He's a. Uh, he's just like this grimy, mean motherfucker. He's also like a dope actor though too. Oh yeah, he's great. I'm gonna Google this while you while yeah, you go just for it. slay um, everybody. Three ten to Yuma. 
It was kind of weird that they would just like tried a Western. And it's still a decent one, but I think we're long beyond the appeal of Westerns in, in cinema in a lot of ways. You'd have to really work hard to make it work kind of to a modern audience, I think. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh Ben boy. Foster. Ben Foster. Yeah. Oh, he's so good. That dude's dope. Oh, and then at the end when uh, Russell Crowe gets pissed. He just turns and he makes that look towards his crew, and you're like, and you're just like, oh shit's about to go down. <laughs> um, what weapons do I have available? Is there, there's usually a weapon there. There it is. Uh, I just have the shotgun right now. That's not fun. Just gotta run up on him. So mean. Excuse me. Oh. Coming through. Just like oh, I can't get me. Huh. Oh, that's true. Uh, Sathista in the chat says that's why Red Dead One is so interesting. The end of the Wild West and it becoming just the West. Right. Which is kind of why I thought a prequel was kind of strange too. I thought that would almost be more interesting to move forward. Yeah. Right. And see. I know a lot of people don't like Jack Marsden, but you know, it didn't have. Maybe it didn't have to be Jack. Yeah, that's who, true. Who was a uh, protagonist in like a sequel or something? Could be a Marsden adjacent character in yeah. that story. Just another dude who's like, "You eat babies." <laughs> <laughs> Just yelling at Sasquatch. I've come for you, Bill Williamson. <laughs> I implore you. You implore me, John. <laughs> you implore me. Man, I need to. Re I, need, man, I have to watch like a recap video a of game. that of that whole game. I uh, love that game. Um. No, sir. Rockstar games are always Bob weird right in, in, in certain ways. Like, Gr I love Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't like Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, so, huh. you know. Because uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is just a mean fucking game. And not like in a, oh, it's kind of funny. It's like, it's just a mean game that hates everything. And that's not fun. I don't need that in my life. Yeah, but true. Red Dead's kind of melancholy. And there's still some mean and weird shit in there. But, you know. Yeah. He intended to kill me. And I knew I had no It used to be that there was a, uh, yeah. Oh, why gut. did why did they not show me that in the other one? Yeah, you want to keep your hand over your your thing too, like focus big time. Keep your hand ready for a good position too, and then just like swallow your pride. Don't let your lips react. When you hear you a heartbeat, you can draw your gun first. But this is a dishonorable act. Like Will Smith said, "You don't want to see my hand where my hip be at." <laughs> this is a classic fucked. Wild Wild West theme song. I so mean, I love this stuff. Everybody saw I had no damage. Yeah, they do introduce sort of the, well, the different layers of the dual stuff Lincoln bit by bit. I guess it's a way to make you not have to learn too much stuff at once, away. but so his escape was so I don't know. Anyway. So I think we'll do one or two more levels. Yeah, sure. So so good. Go uh, it's just me going like, oh, good game. Mexico. I like that. Call of War is Gunslinger. <laughs> good game. You know, play that Call of War is. The Mexican Ruales? I was hired Ooh, to help is. them track down the cowboys. There's a the new cowboys. show coming out called the the Mayans. Have you seen this? No. It's like it's like um, Sons of Anarchy, but they're like a Mexican like okay. biker gang. And I'm like, oh okay, could do that. I could get down with this. This is uh, for people who know Ike Clanton and, and Brocious and all of them. Those are if you've seen Tombstone. Those are all the people who are involved in uh, OK Corral and everything. And then um, Wyatt Earp forms that posse and tries to chase down the rest of the cowboys. Damn, hell's coming with him. <laughs> Whatever. I like that movie too. I like uh, Val Kilmer in that movie. She's like, I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> Super good. So was good. the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant. So he's looking for oh, some dudes no. who are riding with the cowboys. He's not going to Mess the with Johnny Ringo. Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. So this is a weird level. Um, and it has a moment that I told you about that I really like, and I want everybody in the chat to see it. Yeah. The first time I play, played this and saw had this moment happen, I was actually streaming it, and I just went like, huh? It was the moment where I was like, this is the moment where I was like, oh, this is straight up like a really smart and interesting game. And not just like, oh, a stylish shooter that feels good. It's like trying shit. Mm-hmm. The first time I played the scene, I was like, "Yeah, I'm doing great," and then he's gonna narrate something, and you're like, "Come on!" Attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. You okay, buddy? It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Was it? Just hit the rear guard. 
I don't know. Quickly got my answer. Quick, quickly got my answer. Oh, hell no. Also, those are just like uh, QTs. So he has all of a sudden like, and this is one of those like weird elements in retrospect too. It's just like, oh, oh the, the natives are attacking. Oh, but he's no. like, he's like, oh, I was being attacked by Comanche. And eventually people are going to be like, what? Like, why are they just... Oh, uh, uh, Apaches. I was thinking, I was thinking because uh, in Bound and Blood, uh, Comanche is uh, another important thing. He goes, oh, were they Apaches? He, he goes, no, they attacked me Apache style. Apache style. I was in a pitched battle. <laughs> and then, right, and then he it just like reloads with like oh, different shoot. dudes, which is another great, great moment That's of somebody dope. of somebody just like wait, like Indians just like showed up out of nowhere, and no. he's and he's like, uh, what? No, uh, what I meant uh, to say was, uh, sorry, uh, you know, I was still pretty green. super funny oh, stuff. That's awesome. Situation. And then this is gonna there's another moment coming up here that I really but enjoy. I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo. This is uh, this is always a tricky scenario just because there's like a ton of dudes. Whew. God, it's a super stylish game. Oh damn! Right, I'm like I'm not running out of ammo, and then he's like I'm running out of ammo, and my ammo count starts going down. Oh shit! Which is just like one of my favorite moments in a game. Oh no! Where you like have a ton of ammo, and then he's like, "I was running out of bullets," and you're like, "No, I'm fine." And then, and then the, the game's just like, "No." Nah. Then the number goes down, and you're just like, "You're like, dude, like, stop." Shit. I, I understand you want to tell good stories, but like, stop messing up my shit. That's hilarious. Um, Silas Greaves. Oh, nice. what a piece of shit! What a what a messy, silly dude. Nice. Oh damn. Oh damn. Yeah, I get overwhelmed. He just like calls in a bunch more enemies. He's like, ah, oh, I was about to get overwhelmed. And then he's like, oh, like all of a sudden there was a, all of a sudden the cave entrance was here. And that obviously wasn't there the whole time, was no, it? No, 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 not at all. Like, different pieces of level geometry show up. That's Enemy, awesome. Enemies will change. Um, I, like, I mean it when I say, like, I just like what this game does in the way that it merges. Um, it's narrative and it's gameplay. Yeah, it, like, really embraces of just, the two. Of just, like, oh, we can make... We can make our scenarios as implausible and strange as possible because this guy's just a bullshitter who wants drinks. It's a great loophole, yeah. Um, and then later on we learn, like, there's more going on with Silas Greaves than we think. Uh -huh. But, you know, you have to play to find that out. Is there a boss fight here? I think there's a boss fight here. The guy with dynamite or something. Oh, I've died from jumping off that. <laughs> what? It's the Wild West, man. You then, gotta... I, then I jumped off a small rock and died. <laughs> I broke my ankle. And makes I was me think dead. a lot of. Um, makes me think a lot of Prince of Persia sometimes. Sands of Time. Mm. When you die and the prince is just like, no, no, that's not what happened. And you're like, yeah, of course they didn't. That's a good game. That's worth replaying. Sands of Time. Yeah. Uh, even I don't know. That whole trilogy is kind of interesting. I know a lot of people don't like Warrior Within, and it's a weird game in retrospect. Is that the it, one that had the, like... It's uh, the one that tries to be super edgy. Yeah, yeah. It had, like, an actual um, band on the soundtrack. Yeah, and but there's still some cool stuff in there where it's like, oh, you were cheating. Yeah, look, <laughs> the bad guy shows up. And then he finds more uh, uh, dynamite and stuff, I think. Nice. He's like, oh, suddenly, like... Suddenly I had ammo. Nice. Which is great. Um, but there's also just... Um, what was I trying to say? They're, like, in Prince of Persia, they're like, oh, like, you cheated time, and now, like, there's a monster chasing you. It had a very interesting concept that reminded me of uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis mm. uh, in certain ways, which is cool. There's my dynamite. If you want to, you can throw it in the air and then shoot it. Oh, dude. Which is really good. That's awesome. Long shot. Time for the prey to become the predator. I just like how his stories Time are just like. The to become then they got me. And then I ran over here. And then I, and then I took care of them. And then I found a, a corpse with a bunch of bullets. And, and then I got some dynamite. And I was about to mess him up. And you're just like, man, so good. It almost like reminds me of like when you were a little kid, just making up 
weird it makes scenarios. Me, so there are moments, like, I always think of, like, playground stuff when you're like, yeah. oh, I beat you with my thing, and somebody's like, no, because I got, like, a force field, shield. Yeah. like, whatever. <laughs> it feels a lot like that. Yeah. There are, um, oh, there was a, so I, on our stream, too, if you look in the archived stuff, I played through, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Um, first, Metal Gear Solid, and then also Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, Sons of Liberty. I was a little rusty on the gameplay stuff, but I, I love those games. Yeah. Um, and there's a moment near the end in re um, in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. There's a character named Fortune who can't get shot by bullets. And then Ocelot, Revol Revolver Ocelot, shoots her, and he's like, ah, oh, no, you just had a magnetic field that the, <laughs> that yeah, the yeah. Illuminati were giving you. Yeah. And, then, and then she's like, really? Um... And then she gets back up because she her heart's on the other side of her body, and they don't ever mention what? this in the game. Uh, and Ocelot's just like, "Oh, that's right, I forgot. Your heart was your heart's on the on the on the right." And then he later on they, there's missiles fired, and she can still deflect them. And you're, it just has this whole Man. air of like, "I shot you. Uh, I have a force field. You can't shoot me." And it's like, "Nah, -uh. uh, I control your force field." And then Paper beats <laughs> rock. Right. Can I get to there? And then, and then it's a lot of things like, no, nah, uh, actually, um, my heart's over here. And then, like, no, nah, I, I fire missiles at you. And like, oh, actually, my, my, I actually am magic. It's like one of my, it's like, what, what my, the hell's going one on? One of my favorite kind of absurd moments in a video game. Can that's some, like there? anime. That's like some anime. It's shit. so good. It's um, it's this, especially at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2, where things are just breaking apart and becoming more and more absurd. Yeah. To have the narrative even be like. Uh nope, this is happening. Oh no, this person did yeah. this, and like everything you thought you knew, you didn't. Um, really good. Um, I feel like this game is a couple air juggles away from being Platinum Games' take on an FPS. I suppose. I mean, if you want a Platinum Game shooter, you just play um, Vanquish, which is another game that I really love, and we should just probably play on stream. Oh yeah. Um, I know some people don't like Vanquish, and I do, do those people just hate fun? Like I don't. <laughs> I don't know, because um, it's a really f fucking good game. Man, all this Prince of Persia chat though also has got me like wondering what happened to that. Well, they did they did like a kind of reboot, like a soft like a kind of softer reboot. Like the two D one? No, it was um it was three D, but it had like a cell shady type feel and everything. Right, I remember that one. Um, and oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. no! <laughs> got him. But it was just me. Damn it. That doesn't really matter. Because he's just here now and not using the... Well, that's not him. Where's the dude? Oh. Oh, he does have the gun. Ga ga uh, I remember not liking this boss fight, so... Hit the buttons. Ah, no! Oh, lord. You son of a bitch. Oh, dynamite. Oh, right there. Hello. Oh, boy. Man. You seem to die light when you're telling your story, Silas. He's like, nah, man. Like, this is just... <laughs> nah, man. Speculative fiction. Yeah, dude, he's just... Yeah, some people in the chat are also saying this, this boss fight is uh, not the greatest. Some of them are fine, and I guess this one just blows chunks. Oh, oh shit! Now you good. Fuck you, dude. Oh, cause you don't got a clear shot on him. No, uh, they give you the dynamite for a reason. Yeah. Uh, like use this dynamite. Yeah. That's good. That's a real yeah, good. Yeah, when he says it, that's good. Ooh. No, that should be fine. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of what they want you to do. But they also want you to push up and go on that side path. I, I think a lot of people, when they first play this game, they try and play it down in that valley, and it's just like, no, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your butt kicked. There's like a very clear thing they want you to do. He's getting his order of events wrong here. He's like, and because I killed this dude, the OK Corral gunfight happened because they thought it was Wyatt Earp, and you're like, that's not. That's not what happened. Big bunny. Like, I don't know about this. Oh, do I not have skill points? Bullshit. We'll do one more. Nice. And then we'll relax. And then I gotta finish playing a thing and write about some stuff on the website. Kotaku.com. A video game website about video games? Sounds about right. That's not our motto. <laughs> our, technically, I think our motto is the Gamer's, the gamer's guide, guide. Which, that seems like a very, that's like a, a relic of 
of some folks in a board a room or something. That dust That's like Nick, okay Nick Denton being like, but what's it about? It's a guy for gamers. He's like, the apocryphal story is that Nick Denton was primarily responsible for the name Kotaku, but I don't know if that's true. Yeah, they're like, well, let's get our facts straight, because, you know. Yep. They just, like, have this aside of, what's actually going on here? God, it's such a good game. First, I need to tell you about the Cowboys' new boss. Curly Bill, Bill Broches. Oh, that's right. In that one, we... Uh, so I guess the last mission, we killed Ike Clanton. Who, by uh, by all accounts, I guess was kind of a dope. Uh, not even just this game. Anytime I see him in fiction, he's always been, like, kind of portrayed as a dope. So. Imagine that being your legacy. Just kind of being, like, this Western chum. Because Johnny Ringo is the one that everybody thinks is, like, hot shit. Because in Tombstone, he's the one who... Uh, has a duel with Wyatt Earp, which may have not happened in real life, as far as I understand. Mm. Um, there's a, so he like, he was found dead, and some Earp. people think it was a suicide, some people think it was like, Wyatt Earp, like, getting him. Everybody knows why. Why Johnny Ringo died. I'm at, what a good name. Johnny what, Ringo? What a fucking good name. I need for, a good for, cowboy like, name. For, especially for the time he lived in, like, Man, some people were just born to be in the time they were in. Yo, and for real. like a dude named Johnny Ringo who's also really good with guns. Come like, on. You got to you got to hold a gun. Like that feels every now and then I'm like the world's probably a simulation. <laughs> and every now and then like you find the things right. that make it seem like it's probably a simulation and that just seems like somebody with a character creator at the time being like, "Uh yeah, and there's a gunslinger called Johnny Ringo." Yeah, yeah. Um, Boost all of his uh you're like whatever weird AI or cruel god dexterity controls this up. world is just like, "Uh yeah, and then like, oh, well, why Herb? Uh, uh, we need a rival for him and for um, for Doc Holliday. And, Doc Holliday. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> There's a moment in that movie where he's super drunk, uh, and dude's like, oh, you're so drunk, you, you've probably oh, seen double. And he pulls out uh, oh, his other revolver and points at him guys. and goes, I got two guns, <laughs> one for <laughs> both of you. <laughs> um, yeah. Which is just yeah. super, uh, wanted me to do that. Oh man, my That's stomach's why it showed me the thing. Oh, you, oh god, yeah, I should get a, some sort of snack or something. Sorry if that picks up on the mic, chat. No, that happens a lot when we do these streams, because just the timing we do it. Yeah. I always try to eat before a stream, but... Oh, nice! Good shit. Oh, cool, that's good to know. I'm going to check that out, Chris. <laughs> the fa 40 the, guns. Oh, 40 guns. For a minute, I thought you were just talking about the fact that he said Barbara Stanwyck rules, which is true. Well, no, that too, yeah. But also, I thought it was funny to just be like, oh, yeah, I'll check out Barbara Stanwyck. Uh, yeah, I'll check that. Thanks, Chris. I'll check out <laughs> yeah, who? Barbara. It was great. Ooh. Yeah, um... It's, uh... Doc Holliday had uh, tuberculosis, yeah, so everybody so. called him a lunger. No a lunger. He's he coughing up blood, and got bad friend. lungs and all that. All right, so lunger. Uh, the guy who plays, um... Being loyal. Oh, God, what the, I always forget his name. The dude who plays um, Johnny Ringo in um, a Tombstone is the dude who plays Kyle Reese. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He's like, everybody in that movie is like super tan and handsome and <laughs> everything. It's too much. It's like even, it's, it's like, kind of like, on. kind of like a younger Kurt Russell too. Or, or uh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's probably closer to like our age than, than he's not close to our age by that point. Um, Cause we're getting old. Uh, it is important to point out that the Wild West as depicted in movies is largely an American thing. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we don't have a lot of, I can think of one British Western character off the top of my head, and it's, um, what's his name, like British Bob or whatever from uh, Unforgiven? He's played oh, by right. played by Richard Harris. Is it Richard Harris or Mike? Where yeah, it's Richard it? Harris. It's Thank one of the Dumbledores. It's one of the Dumbledores, <laughs> I swear. Um, might be Michael Indeed Gambon. I was, Jack. Um, I don't know. I forget. Somebody can confirm that with me. Oh, man. I remember when... Richard Harris died and we had Michael Gammon who he's a fine Dumbledore sure. but he like everybody was like he's so mean and I was like what are you talking about and then there's that one scene where it's like Harry did you put your name in the goblet of fire <laughs> which is just like really like, intense damn dog cause I imagine oh am I uh, uh, uh. oh no oh no <laughs> oh no uh, I can solve this 
do it. You did it. You got it. You got out of there. Hey Heather, I love your story. Thanks for the wonderful content. Also, with all due respect, your aim is shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I love you too. Get yeah, out of here with your also, weak, sh- your weak sauce trolling. We love you too, but also fuck you. What? What are you doing? I'm playing with a the controller. <laughs> there, there's my excuse. I thought you were doing all right. I love you. Up I until love I mean, up until now. You're probably but, you just know. trying to troll me, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> what if I just go around? Now and just in, like, in, <laughs> killing it right now. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. I also just no like. Pressure. I also just like the feeling of, ah, just like okay. unloading. Because you can do the headshots, but I also just like, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also good. Just bleep. It's a good time. You meant what I said about my content. You make oh, good that, content. Thank you. It's true. You're, you make a oh, good content. God, I hate, I hate calling it content, but I guess that's what it is You make nowadays. the hot content. That's what the kids want. They want the hot content. Uh, I like to think of it as like writing or, or like no. really good analysis, but no, then I also content. realize that everything's content nowadays. It makes them content. <sighs> That's not. I got bars. That's not why it's called that. Yeah, you do. That's true. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works here. Call it content. Makes people content. Yo, that's that's a bar. To you have. see that? You see that um, Twitter video about that guy who's like, "This is how Eminem raps." Yeah, yeah. Floor, bar, the, what do you say? He's like driving a oh, horse. Oh, I can't even do it. Driving a horse to get the horse. Go down for the horse. Too many napkins. So funny. Standing oh, and staring at mannequins. Such a great. Uh, it's accurate. It re- yeah, but it's such a, like a fun little dunk too. Yeah, I mean it's it's fun. He knows he's the greatest, but come on, sometimes you rap a little too fast. Ooh. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting beat up by those guys with shields. I love like, shields are always like the the one thing in video games. Where I'm like, oh, these fucking guys. Dude. Just poke pop it, your head, pop your head. Take a quick little. I'm, I'm think so. I've been thinking about that tweet a lot lately, and I've been thinking about a lot of the one where they do party rock anthem to the. Oh my god, to Evangelion to Cruel Angels thesis. Oh my god. Which honestly, um, when you match those up, they're pretty good. It is pretty good. I mean, like that, it kind of works. That theme song is arguably one of the greatest theme songs ever. Yeah. They're getting, songs, the, they're getting the people who wrote that to do the opening for the new season of JoJo's. Oh, cool. Which is just going to be. Just gonna dude. Politely walk around this guy's shield. Yeah, I do. Fuck you. Excuse me, sir. Uh, thanks. The man. new the new season of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, starring Giovanni Giorno. Giovanni Giorno. That's how we get our name, JoJo. That's great. Joseph Joestar. Uh, Jonathan Joestar. Quite an impressive operation. Jotaro Kujo. Josuke. I uh. I need to- Higarashi, I think. I'm like. In the middle of season three of that? That's okay. That's show? the one. That's the one where you get all the stuff with stands and Dio. Um, yeah. You, you should get to Diamond is Unbreakable, which is just super stylish and awesome. I gotta just power through it. And I, I appreciate how, uh, in season three, where they're when they're going to Egypt, the uh, the credits are walk like an Egyptian, but mm-hmm. <clears throat> the um, the credits and I'm going this way. The credits for Diamond is Unbreakable is I Want You well, by Savage, uh, was it yeah, Savage Garden. Yeah, Savage Garden, yeah. Every time I see your face, I just close my eyes and I am taken to a place where your crystal mine and my nice. gentle feelings take up shelter in the base of my spine, just like a chicken cherry cola. And that, didn't that song get like super popular as a result? Like it just showed up on some charts randomly? I remember like when downloads. that, I remember when that song first came out um, and everybody just being like, Man, like this is a weird because the music video is also weird because it's just like super, it's like super pale dude just on a projector and like a lady. Yeah. Ooh, I died to find out. <laughs> Such a really interesting song. Curly Bill. I need a good Western name. Well, so Chris is saying Diamond is Unbreakable is the best, which is true. And then Stardust Crusaders is better halfway through. The problem with Stardust Crusaders is it takes forever for them to get to Egypt. I think they're like, we gotta go to Egypt to stop Dio, and it becomes, and all the stands are really cool, but there's a lot of. Oh damn! Imagine being that asshole. Just yeah, um, running away. But the problem with Diamond with uh, Stardust Crusaders is for a while it's just like. Boy, I've seen enough like monster of the week type stand battles. Yeah, a it, it kid's kind of greeting after. Where a while. I'm just like, yo, let's get to Dio, and when they do, uh, Dio's great. Making a comparison, I guess the new Wild oh, West. Oh wow! I thought that was games. a normal. I thought that was a normal enemy baby stand that are coming up 
uh, are all these samurai games vying for our attention? Well, especially there's the how many samurai games? Well, I guess Neo 2 counts. And sure. then you have uh, Sekiro, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. And Sekiro. Sekiro's going to be so good. Sekiro looks I love I love FromSoft games. Um, yeah, there are a lot of samurai I games. Was, so up. when you were... When you guys got to play that game, I was in California. Mm. My, well, Chris my, Person played it. Yeah, so like that was still a good trip. Um, uh, I was with my ex at the time. It was a really good time. We went to Disney, but also there was a part of me that's like, oh man, like, you guys get to go play Sekiro, <laughs> which is just like seems uh, it just seems like a really cool game. Where's the dude? Ah, ah, oh, boss fights in this game are just not great. A rewatch. I'm doing. I was re I've been rewatching Cowboy Bebop for my anime. Nice. And then I am uh, rewatching Legend of Korra with a friend because we were both super into uh, Dragon Prince. I got to finish Dragon Prince. I liked what I see what I it's saw so far. It's pretty good. It's good. Um, I'm Cecilia like six Cecilia in. didn't care for it mm -hmm. uh, when we did our chat for the site, but I really like it. It's kind of lighthearted and fun. Yeah, I mean it's like um, a it's like Avatar in a lot of ways. It right, which is Avatar which is kind of what I was expecting. The big right. pro the big problem with Dragon Prince is that it's for now nine episodes, which is which is just like that's not enough yeah. to really like. It starts off okay, world building and getting characters together, and then um, once like the quest starts, it starts moving really fast. I think the animation also throws people off. Yeah, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm, I, you get used to um, it. From I mean, at least I got used to it. I think a lot of people. I think people got spoiled or, or on that animation style because of all the shit that happened with the with the guts anime like the bad guts anime oh right where they're just like walking around like like stick figures that are just like oh, i'm gonna go 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 yeah. i'm uh i'm actually watching iron blooded orphans at the moment that's right mobile oh, suit to gundam dude it's so good it's dope um i like i like iron blooded orphans a lot who's your favorite character in iron blooded orphans Oh man, I actually like surprisingly enough really like Orga. Orga. Like I was gonna, I was gonna cat. say, you know, I was gonna say, you know who I really like? Uh, Orga Itsuka. Um, yeah, my, man. My buddy. He's, He's always cool. And uh, the nice thing is, um, so the Japanese cast in that is phenomenal, but I think the English dub's pretty good too. I just watched the English dub. So the English episode dub five. It was so, pretty good. So Orga is Johnny Young Bosch. But he's, oh. do, but he's doing like a really good like he's like yeah let's go Mika we'll get there and you're like yeah dude I love it I like the dub I was like I mean that particular right. voice actor so like, oh, dubs, dubs have just been getting better and better that mm. one has um, I forget who does Orga it might be Kyle McCarley who's 9S oh, okay in, I think. but but then also they have um, the dude who does Gailio is um it's the guy who does Prompto. No it's just like a really good cast all around. Yeah. That show is also just really I'm, Somebody says, I've been turned off to anime my entire life because of the stigma. Any suggestions to help break that? Just watch them. Just watch anime. Yeah. Just like chill and watch watch a show. Also, if you're not into it, you know, just try something else. I'm not a super big anime person in the sense that I don't watch a ton of it, but there's some great series out there. Well, this is cool. Whatever's happening right now. Yeah. That was dope. I love this game. But this, if this is the end of this level, we might call quits. This nice. has been this has been like really relaxing and also a chance to show off this this game. Oh, we got a uh, a duel. <gasps> nice, nice way to end it. Oh, so good. Oh, we Johnny do Ringo. we do go up against Johnny Ringo. Except here he's got like a huge mustache. Look at that big mustache. That's incredible. Just a guy like I see you are admiring my giant mustache. <laughs> And my broad shoulders. Yeah, he's very big. This is gonna be tricky. This actually should go pretty smooth. Ooh! Nice! Okay. Sorry, I was like, this is going good. You, watch, Sorry, I don't know, watch Cowboy Bebop, watch Devil Man Cry Baby. Just like watch yeah. the shit. Devil Man Cry Baby. Devil Man Cry. Yeah, Cowboy what, Bebop. What a way that. to like bust into anime if you were like, I'm gonna watch Devil Man Cry Baby. Alright, so I think that's it for now. Nice. Gosh, I like this game. This was a relaxing stream. I needed to recharge on a Monday afternoon. I have Heck some yeah. I have some wonderful content for you today. I'm playing what could be the last episode of The Walking Dead. <gasps> that's kinda sad. Which is a bummer because I gotta tell you, this this season thus far has been really good and this episode's really good. So I'm gonna go finish that. Yeah. Have something for you on the site in a little bit. Yes, DZ Stan. Yeah. Get ready for some more hot content. Yeah, take it easy, guys. All right, peace. Bye.